Live pictures of the launch pad at Cape Canaveral, where NASA will try for the upteenth time to launch its Artemis rocket. It's a key test of the return to space program for NASA since 2011. America can't put Americans into space aboard U.S. rockets. We contracted with the Russians for a long time. Now we also use SpaceX. Sadly, NASA has come a long way from when they put men on the moon in less than a decade. Here's what we were promised with Artemis. Original budget, $10 billion, now $20 billion. Each separate launch was originally expected to cost $500,000, now over $4 billion, just a bit of a cost increase. Overall, cost of the Artemis program is now estimated at $93 billion, and it is yet to leave the launch pad. Timeline, 2012, program unveiled. 2017, it was initiated. 2022, delayed launch because of mechanics. September, another mechanical delay. Two hurricane delays, and now we are just a couple hours away from Artemis 1. 2024, if the schedule holds, Artemis 2. 2025, Artemis 3. We might get back to the moon. Former astronaut Jose Hernandez is here, flew on one of the last space shuttle missions, now CEO of Terra Luna Engineering. Uh, good to see you. We appreciate it. Look, I, I keep coming back to this. People say I'm critical of NASA. We all want NASA to bring back the right stuff. We all want to be inspired by the roar of the Saturn V rocket. They just they just can't seem to be able to do it these days. Uh, the the web tel you know the Hubble telescope and the Webb Space Telescope, the images are good. They don't really inspire uh, people to go uh, fly fighter jets and, and be astronauts anymore in the same way. How does NASA get back to back to that? Well, uh, Leland, uh, first of all, let's remember that some of the delays are caused by Mother Nature. And, and if it's one thing we haven't figured out is how to control Mother Nature. So, uh, so but it looks like uh, we're finally going to launch uh, this uh, late or early morning tomorrow, uh, East Coast time, uh, late night, uh, West Coast time. And um, I'll tell you, nothing inspires uh, kids more than seeing someone walk on the surface of the moon. And I think that that's what's going to get us back into our groove, into uh, preparing for us to eventually go to Mars and beyond. And so that's exciting stuff. Yeah, no, it, it, it's, it's exciting if it works, though. You know, one of the great things about the Apollo project was uh, we, we did it all from Alan Shepard uh, to Neil Armstrong in less than a decade, uh, as, as President Kennedy challenged. You think about 2012, uh, plans unveiled it's 2022 we've already burned through that same decade and we can't even get back into space i i i i'm wondering is you think latin nasa has lost its way is it just not as good as it used to be what what are, what are what are the lay people missing no i recall that uh back in the uh, 60s uh the motivation was political and we use a greater percentage of a gross uh, domestic product to get us there. Uh, in this decade, we've used a fraction of that percentage budget uh, to get us to where we're at right now. And there's not a big hurry per se from a political perspective, uh, but so we're doing things uh, the right way, very carefully. And we're also incorporating private industry, which is a new entity coming into the, uh, the, the uh, space community. Yeah, fair, fair enough. Back back during Apollo, there was literally a blank check uh, to get this done that, that doesn't exist anymore. Uh, well, we, we'll, we'll see if it happens. Um, obviously, there's been a couple of scrubs before, but uh, 1 a.m., I will not be up. I'm sure some uh, very in, uh, excited space enthusiasts will be. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you very much, Elena. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.